the menu. What is a brainstorming useful for, right? If we don't know what it is useful for, why use it in the first place? The second part, what are the main problems with classic brainstorming ways? I'm already describing a number of them. How to practice brainstorming? And we're going to practice by ourselves. Huh? We're all one on one on, on, a, on a computer. Eventually, you've gathered some team, member, team members. So we're going to do by ourselves and as part of a group. The fourth step, only by getting lots of ideas can you get a great idea, right? I'm going to explain the theory behind that, the behavioral psychology principles behind that as well. And fifth, how to select a great idea. What you don't want is a pile of post-its by the end of the session you don't know what to do with. You need to sort them in a specific way as well. So this is going to be our menu today and uh, again, we're going to practice. So we're going to practice this particular exercise today together. We start the session. I would like you to take paper and pen, paper, whatever paper, you don't need post-its for that, a normal paper and a normal pen. The one thing we're going to do is answer one specific question and we're going to do it with a timer. And this timer is going to set up for four minutes. So on the video, I'm going to run this timer in a matter of seconds now, four minutes on screen. If you want to jump to the next session, you can do that. But if you don't practice now, I assure you that you will never be acquiring this skill. And you could do that in one hour session. So take the four minutes and push your brain to actually do the work. The question is going to be simple. What are the worst things that can happen in a brainstorming? Think about all the brainstorming sessions you've been participating to in the past. All the things when you try to think about things, what happens, what are the problems that happens, worse things do mean actual thing that can happen, right? So only two, two real condition to practice this brainstorming. The first thing, you stick to the four minute rule, okay? That's very important. Four minute rule, you produce as many solutions to this particular challenge as you can. This is called the second rule, quantity over quality. The only way to actually get quality in ideas is to have everything dumped out of your brain. You're alone or even part of your uh, team. You're going to do that exercise alone on the paper and pen by yourself without talking. It's called brain writing, not brainstorming, but brain writing. We start by writing things. You're going to do it by yourself. So do not be ashamed by your own ideas, right? You can put everything out there. That's the most important part of it.